the post-COVID-19 era. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we all believe in that. We will get there. It's a difficult time right now. And uh, we have faith we will, we will come through this. However, I think one thing is really important to contrast that with is, is, the, is the whole issue of climate change. Climate change isn't reversible. There isn't a post-climate change era. I think there's basically a strong desire to switch to a zero emissions future. It's not a wish to get there gradually. It's now becoming a desire to switch. We, have, we all have been affected by the pandemic. Some member states more than others. But we must rebuild together. Many of us support the idea of a green recovery. The post-COVID industrial recovery plan must support a carbon neutral industry by 2050. But we also need measures to, to save our industries, particularly those in strategic sectors, such as aviation, energy, aluminium, space, and uh, the automotive sector. There is plenty of renewable energy out there. Therefore, we have to manage that renewable energy and provide it a, a means of storing it. Gas, gaseous energy provides that storability. Therefore, the ability to store renewable energy is the domain of gas. One of the really interesting things when you look at energy use across the EU is you find about six times as much energy is used in the form of molecular energy, gaseous, liquid or solid fuel as electricity. But we really badly need to move to a zero emissions fuel. We have heavily invested on, on R&D. That has created a technological leadership and, and competitiveness, uh, which is also needed in the future. The good part is that the modern gas engine technology can utilize these biogases and synthetic gases already today. So it's a question that uh, when they are available. And, and, and modern engine power plants are flexible. And, and therefore we believe that the route uh, going through the gas and then have decarbonized gas are they biogases or synthetic gases is, is the better one than just uh, get rid of every, every let's say, uh, gaseous fuels uh, from the energy production. Uh, as you know, on, um, on 10 March this year, the Commission published its uh, industrial strategy for greener digital Europe that is globally competitive. Uh, this strategy uh, did not see the economic shock uh, that awaited us coming. Alliance uh, needs to have a lot of countries. It's not only one country, the two countries, not three, but more. And um, in the past, it was very difficult to, to talk about champion, to talk about, about alliances. Uh, and now uh, the project involves a lot of SMEs, a lot of uh, small um, startup and uh, it means that 27 countries should be involved in alliances. Uh, the best for the Green Deal for 2050 is of course to have a mix, uh, a mixed gas in the, in the pipeline. Uh, we have uh, biogas, uh, we have hydrogen, we have natural gas and we, we can have it together. This is an opportunity for Europe that should not be missed. Please put the policy alongside the technology and make it happen.